Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do the review and unboxing um, the dipping powder from Savilland. This is a new one that's coming out and I'm really excited about it. So let's open it up and let's see what color we get in here. And the side is pretty small. So right here we have um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 color. So I'm going to take them out, all of them, and I'm going to show you how does it look. And I'm going to swatch all the color. So the side um, is pretty small if you can see how I hold it in my hand. So this will be um, working really great for someone of you guys that have a short nail. So you could just dip your finger in there. But if you like a longer nail like me, then you have to pour it on top. So they don't have the name of the color, but they come with the number. So right now I'm going to swatch it each color. And I'm going to show you also the number so you can know which one. So the color, it comes sealed. So that's really great. We, you know, we don't want a, a leaking product in our package. So that's the best. Number three. It's kind of like a minty color. This color is really like light. So I would do two coats. So this is how the number three look like. So here's number eight. It's kind of like a green color too, but it looks like it's going to have some glitter in it. Look like it's have like a big junk glitter. That's my favorite. I love, 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 love glitter. So when it comes to the dip powder, if you do glitter, uh, you have to encapsulate it. So make sure that your nail won't feel bumpy. So um, when I do it, I'm going to show you the, the way that I usually do. So we will do the glitter first. Oh, this one's so beautiful. Oh, I love this kind of glitter. Even the jar is pretty small, but it's beautiful. It's powerful. So now I'm going to add number three. Wow. Love this glitter. So this is number, let me see, number eight. This is a number eight. Beautiful. Love, love, love the glitter. I can't live without glitter. So next we're going to do number one, which is kind of like yellow. So even right now is fall so we're gonna be winter time but i know there's a lot of brand coming out a lot of color kind of still kind of springy but i love it because i love 
bright color, spring color. I'm not really a big fan of dark color. So even winter time, I can still wearing brighter color. Oh, I forgot. I shouldn't put a three. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to dry. This one really bright. So that's the number one. So right now we can we do on the tip like a clear tip. So that's why it look kind of like a little jelly look. But on the real nail, it probably look a little bit different. But if we, you know, usually we um, don't do two coat on the real nail. Usually we do like three coats at least. You know, if we have a short nail, we will do three coats. But if we have longer nail, then you have to do more layer just to build up the nail, making sure the nail nice and strong. So right here is I'm going to do number two. Oh, beautiful. It looks like a, like a coral color. Oh, keep in mind if you're new to the dipping powder, make sure when you work on um, the dipping powder, the number two, the base, um, trying when you're applying, keep it away from you. Not holding it like a nail polish because they are really strong. Somehow it's gonna burn your eyes. So keep in mind, um, keep it a little bit far from you. So you don't have to, you know, burn your eye because it's a strong. Because basically the number two from base coat is like um, a glue, but a stronger kind. So so this is number two. That's a really beautiful color. So next, I'm going to go with number six. Look like a pink, purple. Yeah, pink. Like a really bright pink. My favorite color. I love pink. I can have all my stuff pink if I can. So then also with the number two, when you put it on, when you do your dipping powder, don't put the number three on right away after each coat. Because when you do that, then the next coat you put the number twos on, your brush is going to get hard. Because the number three, what it does is it's going to dry the powder. So what you wanted to do is... Always do them all in one time, one coat after another, depend how long your nail is, and you wait until the end to put the number three on. So this is the pink, that's really beautiful, and this is number six. Next is number seven. Oh, this one I haven't opened it yet. Okay. It looked like a yellow, neon yellow, and it has glitter on it. I love these kind of glitter. Oh, look at it. So beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Focus camera, please. Yeah, it's so beautiful. This 
this color is really bright and if you put this glitter on top you can see your nail from far away because they're bright and bling from the glitter is so sparkly that's beautiful love 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 it and this is how it look This is number seven. So then this is number nine. And it also glitter. Oh, it's purple. Beautiful. Oh, that's a really beautiful color. I still don't have any idea. I have no idea what I wanted to do today yet. Like I have no plan what color I want yet. They are so beautiful so far. And I love all the glitter they have. They are so beautiful. Look at it guys. It's so sparkly. You can see the camera. Hopefully soon, um, I'm going to have more time to upload a lot of video for you guys. Because I know, um, you know, with the pandemic and stuff, um, a lot of you guys starting to do your own nails. And I'm a nail tech, so, you know, if I could able to share with you tips and tricks how to do the nail on yourself, make it simple and easier. You know, if I can help you out, I'll, that would be great because that's what I'm here for. And I love to share with you. So here's number 11. Another glitter. Oh, I love it. They have so many glitter. And they are beautiful. So this one looks like a pink glitter. big glitter so you wait for a few seconds then you do another color oh that's so beautiful Turn it this way. Actually, this look better. That is so beautiful, guys. I'm in love with this one. And I think that's number 11. Yes. Okay, we have four more to go. So next is number 12. And, oh, look like another glitter. So on this set, I actually have a lot of glitter. So far, I've seen a lot of glitter, more than the solid color. And each of them have like a different color glitter that they put in there. Oh, that's one. This one is kind of like, they use a glitter inside with a really neon pink glitter. But I can tell that the powder, it look a little bit jelly. I'll get a little bit off. That's a lot of them. So when it comes to when you do the glitter, the dip on your nail, then you have to be really careful because when you dip the whole finger in, it's going to get a lot of glitter on it and somehow it would get bulky if you're not careful. So um, right now a little bit when I do it, I will share with you how I do it and to make the nail look more natural. But you can still get all the glitter on it 
without your nail getting bulky, especially if you have a shorter nail. So next, number 10. Look like another glitter. And it's pink. This is absolutely my favorite because, I mean, this set, because all pink and glitter, which two things that I love the most in the nail color. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful. I can already see how it looks. So right here, I see a lot of pink, a lot of glitter. But this one seemed like the glitter is the, um like a lighter lighter pink. Cause the one before it was like a neon pink glitter. So I look. How I focus. Oh. oh, hold for two seconds. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Come on, I try to hold it closer to the camera. It doesn't focus. And I'm new with the YouTube guys, so if you have any things you want to share with me and tips and tricks, um please comment down below and let me know what I need to improve. Because I've been doing that for 10 years, but I'm really new with YouTube and social media and things like that I also have an account on Instagram I don't do video up there I just mostly post the picture of the nails that I do so if you guys want to check it out I'm gonna put it uh, down the, the description below so if you interesting so this is number five and I love how the sticker for the number they have holographic look that look really beautiful too. This look like a purple color. This color actually a really cute color. Okay. One more, last one, and we're gonna be done with the swatching. Number four. This one kind of like a baby blue, I think. Cause, um, also one more thing that I want to share with you guys is with the dip color, um, some of the color when you look at it like right here the powder usually that's not how they're gonna look like when you dip it in when they come out different I'm not say all of them but a lot of them they tend to do that so um, make sure when you buy it you know uh, if they were showing you the sample stick with the sample because usually the color right here where the powder it gonna come out different it's not gonna be the same So this one so far I can see it's really sheer, like a really see-through color. So I mean when we do on the real nail, I'm pretty sure if we do three coats, then it should be okay. So on this one I'm going to do three coat on the sample. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, this one I really like baby blue. Yeah, really like. Okay. 
So now I'm going to take my nails off and I'm right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, now I'm back. I took off my nails. So today I'm going to try my best to show you guys how to do the dipping powder on both nails. The short nail and also the longer nail. So um, I'm trying to go in with some kind of winter nail. So I'm going to use the number 4 and the number 9 from the set that we do the swatches earlier. And today I'm going to also use a Kira Sky um, Dipping System. So I'm going to give their bonding and their base coat. Let's get started. So here's my nails and um, I have the peel off base coat on because I want to try to show you guys both ways. So I'm going to show you with the short nail first. So you're going to prep your nail like you usually do. Push back the cuticle and do the nail buffer. Buff on top of your nail to have a little surface so the dip powder can stick on your nail. And you're also going to need a brush so you can dust off the dust each time you do your nail. So I'm going to go in with the number 4 first. Oh, and keep in mind with the dipping powder, every time you use it, try to spin the bottle of the powder so the powder can loosen up. So when you dip your finger in there, it won't make it bump. So I know there's a lot of um, everybody out there do the dip. They were telling you to do 50% um, of the nail and then going 80% and 90%. But for me, that will work better if you have a longer nail so that will help you with the apex but for me um, I like it when it's like a short nail I like to do it on the whole nail all three coats or maybe like 80% and then the 90% the other two coats but I don't like to do it just half the nail because somehow I feel it always make like a little bump in the middle and I don't like that so what I like to do is the number two I will put on the nails make sure you go all the nail and I mean this one I only go 80% then you will dip your finger in the bottle 45 degree and leave it for three seconds then you will tap off the excess and don't brush it up right away guys leave it when you already done and you come back and you brush it up I'm going to repeat it again, 80% on the middle first, and then you will go on the side, try to make it thin, don't try to do the thick, because when you do the, the base coat thick, and when you dip it in the bottle, they're going to leave um, a bump. So this bottle is really, really small, so with the nail short like this, it will be perfect for you to dip your finger in. But with the long nail, we're going to have to do it in a different way. So I'm going to let you guys watching the whole process and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, now I already dipped them all, so now I'm gonna brush the nail off. And I'm gonna start the second coat. So this side I'm gonna go the whole nail, which is like around 95%. Oh, and there's another tip is that when you do like a light color like this one, you don't have to put a clear coat. On the first layer because it light but if you would do some color it's kind of like darker color then I recommend you to do a clear dipping powder underneath the first coat to protect your natural nails 
before you put any the dipping powder that the dark color. So I'm gonna do the same thing on all the nail for another coat, which is total will be three coat, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so now um, what I wanted to do, I will do the glitter on top of this color. So I'm going to go in with number 9. So right here, I didn't do the third coat yet because um, the color, it was kind of too light. So I can still see the tip of my nail and I don't like that. So I'm going to go in with the glitter on top of the nail on all the nails and then I will be um, encapsulated with the clip on top. So total will be like four coats. So the way that I like to do with the glitter, I don't like to dip the finger in because I would get so much glitter on and it get really, really bulky. So what I like to do is I will wrinkle it on top with um, my finger simple as that oh, and there's another tip that I want to share with you guys is when you dip the finger in the bottle don't try to dip it with your finger try to hold the bottle up and move it up so that when you do the other really cool coat so now I'm going to just gonna wrinkle that glitter on top of my nail repeat the same thing you can also use um, the critical pusher to scoop them up if you wanted to do it that way but me sometimes I feel like I could control it better how much glitter I want to put on when I use my finger and also um, sometimes I would do it when I do it, the longer nails because this is short it's harder to do the ombre with the glitter but when I do it with the um, longer nail, and if I like to have like um, glitter ombre on the tip, then I also feel that it's easier for me to control the glitter where I want it to go when I do it with my finger. I try to make sure you get the number two on the whole nail so the glitter was get on on all the nails. Remember to tap them off because you don't want too much glitter on top of the nail get really really bulky. So I'm gonna try one nail so you gotta see how it's gonna look like if you would dip the whole finger into the jar. So you can also do that. But for me, for the short nail, it will be too bulky for me because that will be a lot of glitter get on it. So I'm gonna try to get off the the big one on the side. But I do like it because when you dip it in like that, they do get that big glitter on it. Because when I wrinkle it on, they kind of get it on a little bit. So it depends. You could try them both and let's see which one that you like it more. And you can do it that way. What I would like to do is I ring closer and then I do it. So 
the next step will be um, you're gonna brush them off, whatever the excess of the glitter and the powder. So that I can see that um, I do need some of the big glitter, like this one, but okay. Um, um, you know, randomly so they can look more even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick them up with the cuticle pusher and then just put them on randomly so it wouldn't be too much of that glitter so I don't want them to be too too bulky with the glitter. So I'm just gonna place them randomly. And um, also, there are so many ways to uh, encapsulate it, the nail. You could also do the builder chair on top, or you could also do, um, you know, base coat, but like to coat to try to encapsulate it a little. But for me, I like to encapsulate my nail with the clear dip. So. We'll do the same thing with the number two and we we'll dip the finger into the clear. But the best way is to pour it on top is better so you won't get any of the glitter or if you have like a darker color you won't get any of those onto your clear powder. So that's the way that I usually learn. You keep your clear dip nice and clean okay now I'm gonna encapsulate it, the nail so there's another way I like to do when I do the dip that I wanted to share with you is um, I would use one of this thing right here with a high pop but basically you use it mostly for the liquid but I like to use it on the dip also so I, what I like to do, I will suck it on in there and I can pour it on top of the nail. So that's what I like to do also with the dip. So I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the nail. So now I'm going to dust off all the nail and it's time for the number 3 which is the deactivator. So with that deactivator the nail won't dry. So you always have to do this before you fire the nail. So basically you're going to apply on top of the whole nail. And me I prefer to do it twice. Just make sure that you know the nail will completely dry all the way through. So when we fire the nail, you won't accidentally file more than we should be. And wait a couple minutes, making sure it completely dry, and then we can move to the next step, which is file the nail. Okay, now the nail is dry. You can hear you can tap it. So now I'm gonna move on to file the nail. So this is short, so there's not much to do. Just trying to make them even. So when it's short, I like my nail to be square round. Yeah. 
so if you guys don't have the e file you can also you can also use the new file to buff it on top if you prefer not using e file then you can do it that way but me um i like to use e file to make sure everything nice and smooth especially you know when you have glitter nail so i'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go in with a really low speed just to smooth everything out. Now I'm gonna use now I'm gonna use the cuticle bit to go around the cuticle area. I'm gonna use a nail buffer and buff the nail. Make sure everything nice and smooth. And there's another uh, tip that I want to share with you guys. If you like to do the dipping powder with the glitter only, with no base color underneath, tr remember trying always put clear underneath of it first. Because if you just put the glitter only by itself without clear underneath, when you try to take it off, when you try to soak it off, oh, that will be a challenge. That will be a pain in the butt for you to soak it up. Trust me, I've been there. I have a lot of customers that come in and try to soak up the glitter. It will take hours to set them off. Sometimes I don't even want to come up. I have to use e five to fire them down. So keep in mind, if you just want to do the glitter by itself, then also always put the clear dip underneath before you put the glitter on top. So that's one of the things that I want to share with you guys. So now after I buff all the nails, I'm going to dust them off with the brush. And we're gonna go in with the number three, the activator, one more time before we gonna put the top coat on. And with this number three, um, keep in mind 
when you have any cut at all around the cuticle area, try to re be careful with it because somehow they are burned when you have a little cut around the cuticle area. So making sure that you will be you know, careful with that. So if you don't want it to use gel and just do the number four that come with the kit, which is the top coat right here, that come in the dip set, then what you could do is after you apply the number three, do not put them on right away. You have to wait at least um, like a couple minutes, let it completely dry before you apply the top coat on. Because if you do it right away, then the brush of the number four tend to get dry and hard. That's I learned. So I want to share with you that. So since today I don't really do any design or anything like that, I'm just going to apply the number four on top. But if you do design, then you put the gel on top, not the number four. So what you do is always have to put base coat on top before you put any of the design because without the base coat the gel tend to peel off really easily so keep in mind we always have to use base coat first and then the design and i know there's a lot of um, people that also use just the clear dip and then they will put the gel color on top so that also another way to um, to do base coat because if not the whole thing will peel off okay so guy um my number four is dried out so i couldn't get it open so well because usually i don't use the number four that much i usually use more gel so today I'm still gonna end up using gel. So right here I using model one base coat and I'm just gonna apply a really thin coat of it on top. And I'm gonna cure in the light for 60 seconds. Hopefully, um, all the tips and tricks that I learned over the year doing the dip help you guys out. And let me know, you know, if you guys wanted to see something different. Um, definitely, I'm gonna do another video doing the dip with the same set with the longer nail. So, if you're interested in the longer nail for the dip, then uh, I will make another video soon today we're just gonna focus about the shorter nail the basic what you should know um, to do the dip you know I know some of you guys trying to do the nail and saving money also now we try to avoid to go to a nail salon that much so we don't get sick because of the COVID-19 anyway and everybody keep you know keep yourself safe stay safe and Keep distancy and wearing masks to keep ourselves, you know, not getting sick because it's crazy right now. Okay. So now I'm kind of applying the top coat. I love this clip so so much. And even in the glitter, the number nine, it looked like a purple glitter. But because I put the baby blue underneath and a base color, and they look really, really good. Um, it's look kind of blue now to me. So I kind of changed my mind. I said I don't want to design today, but how I am, I couldn't help myself. So what I'm gonna do, just a really simple one today. I'm gonna just um, put on like a little um, snowflake 
on top the ring finger on just to have something like a winter nail so today I'm gonna using um, email couture painting gel in white color I love to do this because it's kind of like a thicker consistency so when you do your design you know the design won't run you and I also be using gel so I'm just gonna put a little bit in one of the things and I'm gonna draw a little snowflake I haven't drawn this for a whole year okay, so I'm just gonna do a really simple in the side on the side just one line And then I'm gonna use um, a dotting pin to have a little dot around it. Lately, I also see um, a video of doing the snowflake and using the dot and then the raccoon sliding. It's really interesting. I'm probably gonna try that way also. So now I'm gonna cure the pencil. So I'm just gonna place um, a little one. Because the glitter is really a lot. So just one is good. Just like a really small one in the middle. So it looks a little fancy. The glitter is so dramatic. I couldn't even see my snowflake, but who else is going to touch Never hurt. I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. And now I'm just going to top coat it the last time on top of the whole thing. Just this finger only because the rest already have the top coat. And I'm just going to cure it and then we're done. And here's the finished look guys. And I'm going to apply some cuticle oil. So here the finished look guys, hope you can like it and you can try it out for yourself. I really like this set, especially so many glitter, like they are so beautiful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you look in the outside in the sun, they even look better in person. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.